Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, we are doing a full face of Ciate makeup. Now, I have tried a fair few Ciate products in my time, but I've been saving up a bunch of products because I really wanted to do a full face because I feel like Ciate cover all bases now. They've literally got something for every little like section of a brand, like every single category. And so I wanted to try everything out in one video and see what's good and maybe what isn't so good. So let's get into it. As you can see, I need to stop doing that. The brows are already on. So I'm going to go in with this stuff here. This is called the Brazilian Glow Bronzing Serum and it's probably the product that I am most excited to try because I'm kind of thinking it might be like a drunk elephant kind of situation. So I've got to say, the packaging is so weighty. I remember, I think Ciate launched in like, I want to say 2009 or something. And then I think a few, a few years later, they brought out these, um, I'm going off on a complete tangent right now, the caviar nail kit things. I'm going to include a picture. Let me know if any of you guys remember them. I have definitely featured them on my channel at some point, maybe in like a gift guide or whatever. But that was like the first time I ever really came across Ciate and they have leveled up a lot. Like the packaging is very, very weighty and just feels nice. Oh, glad I read that. So it's to shake it beforehand. But yeah, apparently you can use this over the top of makeup, underneath makeup, which is why I'm kind of thinking it might be like a drunk elephant situation. And I think you can also like mix things with it. I'm gonna pop some of this on. I actually don't know how much I should be using. Okay, so it is very much, as you can probably imagine, like a serum texture. And let's see, has it done much? It's, it's added a little bit of a tint. I guess it does look a bit more healthy. It's definitely not like the drunk elephant drops where like you, you notice it. It's like, it's there, it's on your face. But maybe if I just like add a bit more. Okay, maybe I didn't add enough, because that, that you can definitely see. So you need to add a fair amount. I was just kind of applying it like I would with the standard, like, skincare serum. Yeah, you do need a little bit more. That I can see, and that does look very, like, drunk elephant, de esque So, we're gonna go in with more. Oh yeah, it's definitely tinting my fingers. I need to go and wash my hands in a second. You see? Look at that, look at that, that's nice. I've already done it now, so may as well just carry on. It smells very coconutty. Like it, it does, the smell of it does just remind me of like Malibu, which then reminds me of, don't do this. I know you probably do. Um, but I kind of, as an older lady now, I feel like I have to say it, look after yourself, don't drink underage. But this reminds me of when I was very much underage, drinking Malibu in like the middle of a park. Good times, great, great, great times. That, okay, take it back completely. I do need to go and wash my hands though. Um, this looks really, really nice. It does give a similar sort of effect as the De Bronte drops, which I'm very excited about because I am about to run out, but it doesn't feel like anything because obviously it is a serum. That's a win. Right, be right back, gonna wash my hands. I think it came off, but I also feel like it did maybe stain my hands a little bit, so um, don't judge. Okay, I'm now gonna move on to this Dewy Skin Primer. This says that it is a vitamin C glass glow primer and I'm hoping this stuff works with this stuff, but we will soon find out. I'm assuming, oh, I was expecting it to be like, I don't know, just like a clear liquid, but it's white. Ooh, when they say glass skin, they mean glass skin. Okay, I'm probably not gonna put this all over my face. Literally, as soon as I put it on, it turned into like nothing. That is glass skin. Look at that, okay, just blends out and boom. Oh, I'm not sure if like I want my skin to be this glassy, but you can literally see like, it's so shiny. It is quite oily though. I feel like it does very much kind of just sit on the skin to give you that glass skin look. But if you want that, this is probably the best primer that I've tried for it. I wonder if that would even work like over the top of makeup to create like a fully glass skin highlight. You know what mate, I completely agree. Are you hungry? He's hungry. Let's move on to the foundation, which I am very, very curious about. So this is called the Extraordinary Foundation uh, Radiant Buildable Coverage Foundation. That sounds great, to be honest. And what shade do I have? Not sure. Not really sure what shade I have. Um, talk amongst yourselves while I try and find out. Either I'm being stupid or they haven't actually put the shade on the packaging, which I feel like they should, because I'm a very forgetful person. What if this becomes my favorite foundation and I want to get the same shade? I don't even know what shade it is. But anyway, let's try it out. Hopefully it's a decent color. Looks pretty good, whatever color it is. All right, let's try this out. 
Yeah, that colour's fine, we can work with that. Oh, hello coverage. Hello coverage! That looks mental. Whoa. I, I know I've said it like three times now. That has given me the most insane coverage from that amount of product that I used. Like I was only intending to do like a little bit on the side of my face, but that is going far. Even like a tiny little bit of it. Oh yes. I've had this laying around for ages just for this video. And damn, I wish I tried this sooner. This gives me hella coverage and it looks glowy and hopefully it stays that way. But right now, yeah. Like I've never really heard anyone I've obviously like, heard of a few people that have used this, but it's not a product that you ever see people raving about, even on like TikTok or like shorts or whatever random app it is, Bebo. People need to talk about this, because this actually slaps. I was thinking to myself, because the only concealer that I have is like a kind of like corrector eye brightener, and I was thinking, oh, I really hope that like that foundation actually does cover stuff up. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. That's actually so great. I'm going to be using that a lot, I think. You know, as long as it powders down and all that jazz. But that has really, really surprised me. Oh, I love it. Whatever shade this is, I forgive you for not telling me what shade it is because, yeah, great foundation. Healthy, coverage, looks good. It's not glittery or anything. Yeah, big win. So like I said, for concealer, I have this little under eye corrector kind of thing. It's the Extraordinary Brightening Under Eye Perfector. And this one here is in the shade light. I'm gonna take it with my little, what brush even is this? People always ask me about it. The uh, BK Angie Hot and Flashy uh, A506. I love this for concealer. Pop a little bit on the outer and then go ham on the inner corner. I'm actually like not minding eye brighteners as much these days. Before I was like, there's no point for me because I go in with so much concealer but now I'm like, you know what? I don't mind them. Like they are actually quite nice. And sometimes it is good just to put a little bit of brightener under your eyes. If you don't want to actually wear like full blown makeup, I respect it. I do. Plus one respect. Okay, so this does look, I mean, it's done a bloody good job there, but it does look a bit textured around here. Don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try not to move. Just moved. <laughs> But yeah, it does look a little bit textured, so hopefully that will kind of sort itself out in a minute. Has done a good job though, of like brightening and everything. And look, just like be gone dark circles. Okay, super shiny, looking crazy right now, but it has done the job of brightening everything up. All right, so before I move on to powder, which is actually the only product that I've tried out from this like whole lineup here, I have these two tints here. I've got the Dewy Bronze uh, Glossy Cheek Tint and then the Dewy Blush. I also have a powder blush, so I don't wanna to go too ham with this. So it's this little squeezy tube here. Let's see what the color and everything's like. That looks like a pretty good color. I feel like this is gonna be quite natural, like quite sheer. I'm just gonna use my foundation brush with it. Let's see. Oh, insanely sheer, to the point where I can barely see it. Hang on, let me get another brush. Let's, let's try this. Where is it? Where are you? I mean, it's only a teeny tiny tube. Oh God, a lot came right then, but that's fine. Still probably won't be able to see it. Like, is there anything? The tiniest, I mean, when they said tint, they really mean tint. I guess it'd be good if you are like, not really wearing any makeup. And like I said, you want a little bit of like an under eye perfecter, maybe a little bit of a, a bronziness, but this stuff was way better. This stuff was like miles above. I actually really like that stuff. And I'm kind of thinking I might, give that a go over Drunk Elephant for a little while because I do really like the like finish on my skin. It just kind of felt like nothing. Speaking of nothing, that kind of didn't really do anything at all. Let's be real here. Like I understand if you want to have something more subtle for like an everyday, just like pop into the shops kind of makeup look. When I go to the shops, I either look, have you seen that TikTok where it's like, you look like a homeless man, a 12 year old boy or a stripper. They're my three options. So when I am wearing makeup, I'm going for the stripper look. I don't I do not do just like a little bit of glam. I, I'm normally there with like bright orange cut crease or something, just picking up my milk from Tesco. Other supermarkets are available. So yeah, not really for me. I'm sure there's people out there that do really like this kind of product that want something very subtle. Subtlety isn't really my thing. But let's try out the blush. So this one here is in the shade Watermelon and we'll see how this looks. It's a night, ooh. 
I love the color of that tube. Okay, again, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. It is bright. What is it gonna be? No. Wah. Right, sometimes people get funny about it when I use a foundation brush to like apply other products because they say it kind of like shears it out. So this is a clean brush, the one that I just used a second ago. The most subtle tint, okay? This I can see a bit more than the um, bronzer and it, it could look really nice, you know, if you are just again doing something really subtle, but yeah. I, for the size of the product itself, for the amount that I need, and for the fact that it still doesn't really give me the finish that I want, it's not for me. Like, the actual formula, fine. You know, it, it doesn't like sit weirdly on my skin or anything, it's just the actual pigmentation of it, and I get it's a tint, but it's just, yeah, not not my favorite. Let's move on to powder. So like I said, this is a product that I've tried before, but it has been a hot minute. So this is the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. They really like their coconut over at Ciate. And I remember this being like insanely finely milled. So I'm just loading up my brush there and then tapping it off. Just make sure there's no creasing. I'm really curious to see how this stuff will actually set down. And again, always start from the outer corner. It means you get less creasing on the inner corner. The texture's still there. Can you guys see it a little bit better now? If I put a tiny bit more powder on, it's like, even though I tried to blend it out a lot, there's a bit of texture going on around here. The rest of it though, has set down quite nicely, so I don't know. Yeah, like it's fine everywhere else, but right on the inner corner, just has like, I don't even know, it just looks a bit dry and flaky, but without actually being dry or flaky, it just kind of looks like that. I am hoping this will set down at least like some of my face so I don't look insanely shiny all day. That glass primer is doing bits in a sense that like my entire face is just shining. Could also be a bit of the foundation um, because it does say that it is radiant, which I would agree with. But yeah, I do think the glass skin primer probably shouldn't have put that all over my face. Maybe just focused it on the high points, but we live, we learn, we laugh, we live. We love. I've seen a doormat that says, live, laugh, leave. And I really need it. I, the one I currently have just says, welcome. And I'm like, no, no, you are not welcome in my house, even if I invited you. Passive aggressive doormat, that's what I need. That's a good way to describe myself, actually. If I ever had a Tinder, the little bio would be passive aggressive doormat. Oh no, oh no. I'm still ill, as you can probably still hear from my voice. It's been like 87 years now, but Around my nose is a little bit dry. And the only thing I put around my nose was that foundation. No, please, please be nice. If the rest of my face looks good, then it can very much be a situation where I just put concealers that I know work around my nose, around my nose. I really hope this is nice. I feel like I've just set a load of hairs into my own face there. Like a DIY beard. That's looking, that looks better but I don't know how I feel, mm. I'm gonna try my Laura Mercier powder on the other side and just see how it works with that. Right, sorry, bit of an awkward angle for here, but let's see how it works with this. Because as you all know, this powder, like if all else fails, I go for this. That looks better. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the powder on top of this foundation. It actually looks way better with the Laura Mercier one. I feel like it just makes my skin look a bit more, almost like dull with the Ciate powder. Okay, good, this is very good. I was worried then that the promising foundation wasn't all that great, but actually it looks pretty good on that side. If I had like a fully concealed under eye, I'd be very happy with that. Okay, next we're gonna move on to this powder bronzer here. I'm very excited about this. This is called the Aruba Island Bronzing Powder. They do a few different types, like this one is just like a matte one. And then they have, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, probably not, but it's a little bit more shimmery. I'm gonna go for the matte one though. It looks like a very, very orange tone. So I just wanna make sure I'm not going too ham with it. It's, it's very orange. Okay. Let's see. I'm almost gonna put it a little bit higher just in case it is like hella orange, then I can kind of cheat it as being a bit of a blush. Oh, that's actually way better. That's way better than I thought. And now that I'm looking in this mirror, I do not like that under eye perfecter. I do not. Maybe in small doses, like I said, if you're just doing a very everyday, super natural, kind of like no makeup, makeup sort of look, could be fine, but mm, no. When you're actually putting makeup on your face, and I mean like putting makeup on your face, it's not the one. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about this, but yeah, for me, that actually looks pretty nice. It kind of gives like a Mac Give Me Sun 
colour, but without like the sheeny shininess. So I'm wondering if maybe this would give me the sheeny shininess. But I don't think I need to add more shine to my face right now. I think we're good. We're gonna move on to yet another blush. So I have this one here called the Glow To Blush. And I feel like I tried these years ago. I think they've maybe, hang on, I can't, what, what is wrong with me? I feel like they launched like blushes like this years ago. They had more of like a domed sort of packaging. Yeah, it's like the same thing. So I have tried out this kind of thing before, but it's an illuminating blush. And, oh boy, we're gonna be very sheeny shiny today. Let me just tell you that. Look, that's that's not even a blush. That's just like a blush topper. They are very cute though. Like Ciate packaging is very cute. Take some of this and I'm gonna put it quite high because it is so sheeny. Sushimi. Oh, I'd love sushi right now. Oh, wait. That is like super subtle. And it might just be because it does kind of resemble like a subtle highlight, which is why I'm so excited about it. But that is actually like tying everything together. I really wasn't that excited about that by the swatch because it just looked basically like a pink highlighter, but actually really nice. Like probably so far one of my favorite products. Oh, I like that, that's just like airbrushed my skin. Now this is definitely a product that I remember because I used to love it. But again, I think they've changed the packaging. It's the Glow To Highlighter in the shade Starburst. It's good to have you back my friend because I remember this being so great. Let me do a little swatch for you. Yes, yes, look at it. So let's pop this on. So metallic. Spread it out because I had plenty on my brush there. Blend that upwards. That is too much, even for me. I've changed, you guys, I've changed. Just gonna press it in. Oh, that's nice. I just took a little bit too much there. I got a little bit overexcited. That looks dope. That cheek is a good cheek, okay? What is this face that I'm making? I'm like, I'm like that proud, you know, that meme with like the proud mum, but it's the kid with the coffee cup at Christmas. And it's like, why are you looking like, Oh, help me today, please. I'm so unwell. Like while you're watching someone open the presents that you know they're gonna love and you're just there like, can we edit a coffee cup here? Yeah, very happy to have this back in my life because I remember getting rid of this and I was just like, I don't wanna get rid of it, but I don't need all this makeup and my excessive storage is already overflowing and I don't know, I, don't, I think they stopped doing it for a while or something. Very happy to have it back. I missed you, old friend. It is a good highlighter. It is really good. And they do like a pinky version as well. Okay, we're gonna go in with some setting spray. This is called the Everyday Vacay One. I'm gonna assume by the name, this one's also gonna smell of coconut. I actually don't love. Yeah, very coconutty, very Malibu, very in the park, in the rain. Great. But I actually don't love the smell of coconut. Like, I don't hate it. I'm not, I don't like smell it and I'm like, ugh, but it's probably one of my least favorite scents. I'm still gonna, Spray a ton of it all over my face though. Nice fine mist, super moisturizing and like hydrating. That's looking, that's looking all right. Yeah, aside from the under eyes and my very, very shiny forehead, I'm really quite enjoying this. I love the foundation. Okay, let's do lips because I only have one lip liner to try out today. So this is the color we're going for. It's in the shade Coco and it's their velvet lip liner. Oh, it's quite a thick boy. Automatic little roll-up lip liner. Let's see what this is like. It's a little bit more subtle than I thought it was gonna be. It's quite easy to sketch in there, you know, like some people will do their lip liner and it's like duh, duh, duh. not me. I'll just like just sketch it in and basically hope for the best. So it's kind of good for that. It's a pretty colour though. I was expecting it to be like either like a really like wine kind of colour or a dark brown. But it's actually got a bit of a mauvey pinkness to it. I mean it is nice, but then it just clocked to me the price. I think these are about 18 pounds and I'm like, I could get this exact thing pretty much from like a 17 lip liner, an Essence lip liner. So yeah, I quite like it, but I would not say you need to go and spend like 18 quid on this lip liner because it's, it's not doing anything special. It's just working like a standard lip liner, to be honest. I do really like the color though, I do have to say. Okay, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have a few like, interesting lip products here. I feel like Ciate do like really out there lip products. So obviously I'm sure you will remember the Glitter Flip. I need to do a TikTok on these like again very soon because a bunch of brands have come out with like glittery products like this again. And Ciate I feel like we're one of the first. 
So expect that in a TikTok again soon. They also do the Glitter Storm lipsticks, which remind me of the Huda Beauty ones that are literally just like that. Like, stunning. I'm gonna see what the color Electra looks like. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing this. Like these are, these are a lot, aren't they? Let's see. They are very pigmented though. That's not really gonna work for my lips, is it? I mean, I can try a little bit. You can see they are so pigmented and they do just feel almost like balmy. They smell really good though. They smell like MAC lipsticks. Just doing some sweats there. They are so metallic. But yeah, I'm not sure this is gonna be the lip color I'm going for today. I'm just gonna attempt to wipe that off with my, I'm like hiding my little um, tissue here because it's disgusting. Oh, the glitter's just staying on my lips. Okay, that's a thing. Just cover it up a little bit. That'll work. That worked. Yeah, very cool. I think these work really well for like, I mean, if you like a really, really glittery lipstick, then perfect, great for Christmas. I don't know how often I would wear a glittery lipstick, especially in these kind of shades, but again, there will probably be some sort of TikTok or like, I don't know, crazy makeup look with these coming soon because I do really like the formula and I do think they're great. But now I'm gonna try out the Velvet Cloud Lip Powder. This one is in the shade Daydream. I feel like some brands tried to make lip powders happen a few years ago and they just never really caught on. So it just looks like this, literally almost just like a single eyeshadow. And it's got like a moussey kind of texture. I don't know if you guys are even gonna be able to see that. Oh, it feels so weird. It feels so weird and I don't know how to explain it to you and I'm really sorry. But yeah, that is the color there. So let's try and do something with that. I'm actually gonna apply it with a brush. It's like not the easiest product to pick up. It's a lot more compact than an actual eyeshadow. Let's just go over the top of everything. I do worry that these sort of things just don't last well. I've tried out the Urban Decay lip powder, which I think they discontinued. Probably for a reason, to be honest. And yeah, it was a little bit drying. Like, cool concept, but I don't know if you need to, like, the, the wheel isn't broken. What, that's not. I was gonna say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And then also say you don't need to reinvent the wheel. And like, but we've got a new one now. The wheel is not broken. And I do feel like you could just kind of do this with a standard eyeshadow because it does, like, I don't know, it does just give that kind of effect. Like, the color is pretty though. I do really like the color. I will never use this over a lipstick. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's kind of fun to do something a little bit different for like my brains and like, oh, do something that's a bit different for like TikTok or whatever. But day to day, do I actually see myself pulling this out of my handbag with a brush or getting it all over my fingers and applying that as opposed to literally just like a bullet lipstick? Probably not. I will say though, it does actually look quite good. Um, does feel matte, but kind of feels like matte in like a liquid lipstick sort of way. <laughs> the lip color is quite nice though, I've got to say. Okay lads, we're gonna move on to eyeshadow now. Ciate have been bringing out a bunch of these like massive eyeshadow palettes. They have one, something to do with being a woman. Don't remember what it's called, but I saw this one and I thought it just looked really nice. I am doing a lot of DIY stuff today. I've got to go into a lot of B&Qs and home bases and so I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy, but I feel like this looks like just a really nice warm neutrals palette. You all know the drill, P. Louise base. It's like my go-to because it does work with pretty much every eyeshadow. So if it doesn't work with this, then usually it means the product's not that great. I promise you I'm not crying. I've just had the biggest coughing forever. Okay, let's do this. I hate myself, I really do. Okay, what am I doing? We're doing something simple. I'm gonna go in with hmm, hot sand. This one here into my crease. Oh my God, so pigmented. We don't even need that much, bro. I just wanted a little cheeky bit of something in my crease. My eye, eye crease. Get your heads out of the gutter. Disgusting. Yeah, that's hella pigmented. For the amount that I tapped off as well, it's like, it is, it is dusty. Not dusty, but like, what, what other word should I use? Like when you tap your brush into it, you do get a lot of products, like it is a bit messy, but you cannot deny da pigment. I've always rated, CRT eyeshadows, that's why I'm like not doing anything too intense. Actually, the main reason why I'm not doing anything too intense is because I have a very busy day and a lot to do and a lot of places to go. And I just, I because I'm ill, I just cannot be bothered with having people like looking at me with like a blue cut crease or something. I'm like, just leave me alone. Yes, I know I'm wearing a cut crease in like some tiny village in Cornwall, but just, just let me live. I'm just a girl, you know? I know it's probably like a little bit boring, but I actually really kind of want to put 
maybe a ton of this like all over my lids and then maybe a glitter on top. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now I have hiccups, this is brilliant. Yeah, let's do tan lines. And I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid. See, literally just did a couple of taps. And there we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I like these tones. I like these tones a lot. I'm gonna do a little bit of clean up in a sec, but I'm just doing something a little bit grungy. Okay, we need to add a little bit of shimmer or something. Um, what should we do? I wanna go for that one, I think. Well, that one, well, that one. We're gonna go for that one. This is called Golden Glow and it is very pretty. And I'm just gonna swipe that over my lid. Ooh, nice little, almost like glosser. I love that. I love how glossy everything is. Like obviously in person, it does look a little bit less intense, but this is just like, what am I trying to say here? It literally is just like somewhat, in, in a positive way, I've just been sprayed with oil. You know when you see people in like those sexy music videos and they're all like hot and sweaty and don't look like this at all? My cheek and my forehead and my eyes right now is giving that. Like if we could just crop that bit. It's giving sexy like 2000s music video. And then you pan out and then you just see me like this. I stopped recording because I had a coughing fit and I forgot that I'd stopped recording after my coughing fit but I was just trying out this shade here splash on my inner corner this is i mean on anywhere to be honest this is insane like look just a little teeny bit and it's so reflective like don't get me wrong this palette is not giving me anything that i don't already have however if you're starting out with makeup or if you need like a new neutrals palette or something that's like neutrals you've also got some warm tones in there you've also got some cool tones in there so you can kind of do any sort of neutral variation of an eye look this is actually really nice the quality of the actual shadows themselves are good as well and they're big pans so yeah not anything groundbreaking this palette here but it's good there goes that good to have this sort of palette in your collection and I do really, really love this splash shade. Let's get it on the mini little fan brush under the brows. I just had some weird deja vu then. Is it considered deja vu? Of like a dream that I had last night and I have no idea what the dream was. I can't remember a single thing about it, but I just had this feeling and I was like, that was a dream that I, my chair just farted, not me. That was a, something to do with my dream. But I know I didn't dream about fan brushes, but I don't know, it was like I had a That's So Raven moment where I was like, Oh my God, that dream, but I still have no idea what it is. So um, yeah, good chat, good chat that. I'm sure you all can sleep better at night now, knowing that that was how I felt in that second. I'm then just gonna take a teeny tiny little bit of cool down and just run that on my lower lashes just so they're not completely naked. And also, cause I am not a fan of that under eye perfecter and it was creasing like a little bitch. So if I just cover it up with some kind of color, then great, really? I have this feeling that like, because I'm not as like smiley today, because I feel like crap, people are gonna be like, you're so negative and grumpy. Maybe maybe I'm just, I just overthink everything. But I promise you, if you are thinking that I'm grumpy or being negative, I'm actually in a really good mood. I'm just fed up with being ill. It's been so long now and I'm fed up with coughing every five minutes. But other than that, I'm on top of the world. That still sounds sarcastic, but I am actually doing quite good. Okay, so it's just, just a simple little shimmery neutral eye, but I like it. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, nice palette. Okay, last couple of products. I have this liner duo here. It, I should have taken these products out of the packaging before I started. So, wait a minute. This probably sounds really stupid, but there's actually two liners here. I thought it was gonna be like a double-ended sort of product. Let me in. Yeah, there's two, mind blown. So we have the Fierce Wing Stamp which is a double-ended product. So you guys may have seen this before. I have used this before and I'll be honest, not the biggest fan. I feel like if you do really, really struggle with liner, use a bit of tape or like some sort of like credit card or you know, whatever to make it look a little bit sharper. I do feel like if it works for you, then it's really gonna work for you. But this is not the usual kind of wing shape that I like. So I wasn't really a fan of this. And then you also have this one for the other side. So look, see, see those two there? Wee, little wings. That's exactly what they are actually. But um, yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. However, we have another product into play here. An unexpected last minute entry. This is a 
liner pen. It's not as like fluid as I was hoping it would be. It feels, I don't know, I'm just, I'm wondering if it's like the product needs to come out a bit more. Let's try it. Little wing. Yeah, I don't know if I've, what's going on here? This is brand new. You saw me take it out of that box in a very elegant manner, but it's like, oh no. It's like grippy. I'm really trying to make it like a nice fluid line that's at least kind of straight, but it's just not doing it. <sighs> I'm literally having to like hold my breath while I do this because it's really difficult to use. And like when I try and go back on myself, it, it's, it's performing more like a dried out gel liner. That might be as good as we can get it. Don't like that. I probably actually prefer the wing stamp over that. Hmm. It's like sometimes it'll kind of work a little bit. And then like other times you, you, it just gets stuck to your eyelid and then pulls your eyelid in a weird way and then you can't draw the line. That's not even remotely even. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. I need to fix up my liner now. This is just a random one from a brand called Josephine. And I know, I mean, I don't barely even really know this liner, but I know it's gonna be better. Yeah, even that up way better. Those liners are so uneven. I'm gonna need to tidy that up in a second because that, yeah, that, that really screwed me over. I don't even know where I've put the lid, but it, it doesn't matter anyway, because it was like dried out. Oh, there's a lid on the floor. All right, last product for today. I have a mini of the Wonder One mascara and I've tried this out, but it has been years. So let's give this a go. It's got like a little hourglass wand. And I do remember quite liking this. It gives you like, it's quite a dry formula which, I mean, depends on what you like, can be a good thing or a bad thing. For me, it's usually quite a good thing because I feel like it gives me a bit more, like, bulk to my lashes. Makes them look clumpy without actually, like, looking horrible. Yeah, that's done it. Yeah. Decent mascara. It's not a new favourite or anything, don't get me wrong. You can definitely get other mascaras that are better or just as good for cheaper, but it's a good mascara. You can't knock it. It's easy to apply as well. Like, the wand just works. You don't have to go over the same bit over and over and over again. You can just... Once you've done like a couple of strokes, you're done. Also, get your head out of the gutter. The separation on that eye, can you see it? Don't know if you can. That literally looks like falsies almost. And do a little bit on the lower lashes. It's a really black formula as well, which is cool. Okay, so I'm going to finish up this makeup. I'm dropping everything on the floor. Sort out this hair and mostly just sort out that liner and sharpen it up a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. Sort this out and I'll show you guys the finished look in two seconds. All right guys, sorted out the makeup a little bit and I do actually generally really quite like it. Obviously, we don't even need to go into it, but we are. Uh, the liner, big fat no. Uh, the lip powder, it's one, I'm, I, there's something about it that I do just quite enjoy, but it's utterly, utterly pointless. But there is something about it that I, I do love, so I, mystery, not sure. Love the foundation. The glass skin primer, oh my god, does that give you glass skin? However, if you don't want to look shiny all over your face like I am right now, maybe just focus it on the places that you'd put highlighter. What else did I love? Did not like the under eye prep. Pre 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 yeah, wasn't really the biggest fan of this. I will try it one day when I don't have like any makeup on and I do just want like a little bit of coverage with a little bit of brightening because maybe it works a bit better with like not really any makeup. But as far as like what I've got on my face right now, was not a fan. The bronzer, really like that. I really like the blush, wherever it is. This one, big fan of that, big fan of the highlighter. So I did really like a lot of the products. Actually, I forgot something very, very special. This is incredible. I, I just love it. I would maybe apply it with a brush over your fingers because my hands are a little bit stained, but I love this a lot. And I think it's cheaper than Drunk Elephant. I think it's easier to get hold of. I think you get more products. Yes, if you like Drunk Elephant, or if you've just been wanting to try it, but you can't because it's freaking sold out everywhere, then try this instead because it actually gives a really, really similar finish. So yes, those are my thoughts. I'm not gonna be able to do a check-in today because like I said, I have so much to do. Uh, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be like taking off my makeup halfway through because I've got some DIY stuff to do as well. I need to cut some wood so if things get a little bit wild, the makeup's probably gonna come off. So I'm not gonna do a check-in today, but I'll let you guys know once I've like worn the foundation with some of my other products, how it did kind of wear. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And also let me know what you think of this makeup look as well. What do you think of some of the products? Do you think some of my reviews are fair? But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I love ya and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.
and now watch me have like a huge coughing fit 